Noise is the eyeball popping. I hear it sometimes whenever I shoot. Could be. Sounds like it. Yeah, I, I am hearing that popping noise. Did you noise. hear it? I'm yeah. serious. Did no, y'all hear it? No, there, there is a different so sound. So there's like a sound yeah, that a happens. Different sound when it hits their body. Yes, and their... yes, and when you hit their body, they sound hollow. It's, it's like a... Yeah. So we can leave him there for a minute and see who else we get. He's he yeah. he gotta be. He popped his eyeball. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's out. Yeah. Get out. Right <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's a bullseye. Let's go get snap crackle because we already got pop. Has it been to go straight to him? Because there's there. There's an iguana up there. It's that split, and it looks like there's a second. There's two iguanas up there. Oh, so there's a baby. So there's a baby one to the right, yeah. right before it splits. But if you go out over the water, there's a second iguana that's a good oh, size. Yes. See it. Going for the big one on the left first. Okay. Oh, yeah. nice. Hang on, he's gonna grab back on. I can't see his head anymore, so I'm gonna go for the other one. If I move right here, I have wood for a backstop on the little one. Okay. Oh, he moved his head. Maybe not anymore. Oh, there. So that was that little one. Yeah. He had wood for a backstop there, so I was happy with that one. Oh, oh, okay. I see a fatty. Hang on, I want to get the one I hit. All right, yeah. He lifted his head up, so I hit him in the head. I don't know what he was doing. He lifted his head straight up. It was like a big fatty sitting up there like a squirrel yeah, lounging. Oh, wow. Ooh, dude, there's a giant. Wait, there we go. His head is Look. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. Can you see him, Manny? Yeah. Hey, George boy? Yeah. How can you not see him, right? Right. That was it. That's gotta be it. I think he's just holding on to the back leg right there. Let me look at him. Oh, what's going on? Oh, his back foot is stuck. I wonder if I could get, get that back foot. He's got his eyes shut. I think he's dead. You have like a tail shot or a back leg? Yeah, I can hit him in the back leg. I want to see if he'll pull first. I'd rather not just take that shot for nothing. Yeah, I hear you. This guy that came back to the last shot, I'm not finishing shot. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, he's falling. Oh, good boy! Oh, he's right there. Cool. Bit, you know? Yeah, yeah. Where was the little one on the ground? Oh, he's oh right, I see him. Right over there. Is that the one you shot out of the tree? Uh uh, that's a different iguana. I want to see if I can get this guy that I was trying to get before. 
here still. Oh, oh he's up there. He has so many things in front of him. Yeah, hey, come, come right here. Where I'm at, come exactly yeah, right here. Yeah, but I can lean on the fence back there. You got a straight headshot right here. Nice. What's it doing? It's just wiggling? That's the death wiggle? Wiggling, jiggling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the I give up wiggle. Grab the net. I'm gonna uh, try to get this other little guy on the ground real quick. Should we throw it? Yeah. Oh, oh get in the water. The ducks will go and inspect for us. This guy is stupid close, like 10 yards. Hold him just over his head. Hey, man. I just... I'm shooting this way, okay? You see what I'm doing? You good? Okay. There's actually fence. This guy I'm gonna grab the same way. The fence in the way, hang on. I think that didn't go anywhere where I was There. Ooh, nice shot. Thank you. They're pretty close, but we had to be careful because of stuff in the background and people in the background. So they were still real safe shots. I was happy with those. They iguanas like to eat these trees. A lot of times the trees with tiny, tiny leaves, they eat them. And so uh, we're gonna scan this tree and see if we can't find some more, but we've already gotten at least 20 iguanas on this property. So I'm real happy today. The Atomic's working out great. Um, I'm using JSB pellets. Thanks Predator pellets for sending me a new t-shirt. I really appreciate y'all. And uh, check with me if you wanna do an extreme target competition. We're gonna have a competition coming up at the beginning of December, uh, put on by AOA and Tristan over at Atlas Air Guns and it's going to happen up by orlando so if you're on the east coast and you want to come see what you could do with your air gun come out there and there's going to be great targets and great prizes and great opportunity to show what you can do with your air gun all right we got a decent sized iguana actually a really big iguana straight up this branch i'm going to be shooting straight at the spine get some oh he's looking at us He's dangling. I can see just his back leg still holding on. Oh, he just went limp. But he's still hanging on. There's a squirrel in my view. The squirrel's like, shoot me, shoot me. I'm right here. He just hmm. go back and forth. That's ridiculous. Let me see if I can hit this iguana in the leg then. He's going to land too far out though. Oh, he's coming down. There you go. Oh, he's not that far. Oh, you can see the tail too. Yeah. Perfect. I don't know. I say it's not that far. I'm not the one having to go get it. One of the, the Found the tree while we were trying to clean up. Where'd he go, y'all? Uh, Where did he ooh, go? Ooh, you got a straight shot from right here. Wait, I think Manny sees it. Oh, I see. I see him. I see him. I see him. It's a pretty big one. We don't know if it's alpha or not, but I guess we're going to find out here in a second. Could be an alpha. Oh, shoot.
Upside down iguana. Look at that, clinging with one foot. We'll go grab him. He makes number 21, Blackjack. You're rolling. All right, the battery's trying to die on the phone. We uh, keep having iguana show up. We are already done. Okay, we're trying to do a final count. And there's another iguana right here on the sun, in the sun, right on top of the branches. Oh, wow. You see him chilling? Yep, now I do. Loading a shot with help. Oh, good iguana. Won't we cover that? Oh, we might recover that one. Oh, oh. Good oh my gosh. Oh, it's like jaws. Hang on. That was nuts. Nice and easy. Nice. Five hold on that one. Got you iguana. <laughs> Got him. That is, it was insane. Whoa. Yo, you see how you like hit the water and like started swimming like a shark right yes, towards us? Yes, that's what I said. It was like a Jaws iguana. Let's show him Whoa. the shot. Thank you for grabbing that, Manny. Whoa. There he is. No eye available. Man. Critical, critical, critical. Zombie iguana. Yeah, that atomic is putting in work, Jess. <laughs> it always comes through. So we got 22 now. 22. Oh, look, he's bringing in number 22 Oh, oh yeah, right there. there he is, right there. Just like that, guys. The last 10 minutes, we got 10% more iguanas. We had 20. All right. Yup, just All like right. that. Great job, Manny. Man. And just when we thought we uh, cleared them out of this tree, they were hiding. And that's the thing. That's the thing, guys, with iguanas. They're masters of camouflage. Look how big this iguana is. These are big iguanas. Huge. Look next to the gun. Yeah. That's a big Bigger iguana. than the guy, yeah. <laughs> These are massive lizards, guys. And just like that, Jessica got two more. So guys, we even got a giant iguana. The Atomic came through today, just as always. We're using a 22 caliber by Brocock. And I'm using some JSB pellets right around 18 grains. And so 20 today was a great number. I want to thank everybody that's here. We got CJ right there. We got Manny right there. And Iguana Man's on the camera for just a moment. So um, thanks for joining and catch us next time. Oh, the black, the, is it the, the black spiny tailed iguana? The black Mexican spiny tailed iguana. This is a really orangey male. The males get spines, but the females don't. So it's real easy to tail if it's a male or female whenever you're even at a distance. Also, the males get a real pointy nose. So it has a very triangular head versus a female, which would have a blunt nose. And they're omnivorous. So this uh, iguana, they, they'll eat each other. They'll eat green iguanas. I've seen them run out and eat a green iguana. Um, I've had them throw up other spiny tails. Um, wow. They're opportunistic creature yeah. right there. Going they on. make a really cool skin. Um, a guy named Steve out here just started making lighter covers and rings with them. And uh, I got to bring a couple to EBR. I'll show you the ring. It's in the truck. But um, he even did a ring where the spine goes around the ring. Oh. So it looks pretty cool on the ring. That's not But um, the spiny tail is definitely the skin to work with if you're going to make something. That's, that's insane. Yeah, very beautiful skin right there. That, that very spiny tail right there. You want, me, you want me to get a... Um, hey guys, welcome back to the same spot we were at yesterday. I'm Jessica with Iguana Solutions. And we got 22 iguanas here yesterday and they're already back out today. I mean, monsters. We just pulled up and we were like, look at that dog poop. Oh, that's not dog poop. That, look at this y'all. It's like a poop emoji shape. I mean, it's ridiculous. That's iguana poop. This is why it's a problem. It's like a dog guana left this behind. It's huge. Look at it compared to the gun. That's huge. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we think we know who did it. There's two huge ones down here. Um, I have with me today Philman. Thanks so much. Iguana Ninja is with me, CJ. So make sure to check out his channel on YouTube as well. And he gets iguanas all the time and has really great information out there and shows you really cool stuff in South Florida. So we're going to go over here. He watched the giant dog guana go up a tree. And there's a second one in the tree. I mean, like a moose stuck on a branch over there.
It looks like it. There's a dead iguana on the ground from yesterday. Oh. 23. We'll go scavenge him up and we'll still get credit. There was an iguana right over here just a second ago. Though. Yeah. It's right there by the right gate. Right He's so unsuspecting, continuing to eat grass. He's a flipper. Don't ever watch the show Flipper. Just kind of scalped him there. Gonna put a second one in him and got you a gunk. I don't know if I got footage of it or not, but yesterday I caught that stinking fish. That giant catfish, I caught it. I caught it with a cast net. It was perfectly in the cast net. I don't know if I didn't let it sink enough. I don't know if the ground was uneven, but he got out. He's like two and a half feet long, y'all. And he's gotta be what, like 30 pounds? I he's was, freaking huge. I was there, people. He's monstrous. And I, I, I thought he was exaggerating when he told us how big it was. I no, it's bigger than he said. And so uh, uh, we hope to try to catch it today. We're gonna try and see if we can get it. If we get it, we're just gonna have to let it go back in the pond. But we wanna see if we can get it and uh, get some cool pictures with it. It's a crazy Amazonian giant catfish. Hakeem, Hakeem, Hakeem. Beautiful. We're gonna get this other one that's about 20 yards away. It only skimmed the back of its head, so it's still up. There we go. That was the sleeper shot we're looking for. Just a wiggling about it, huh? There were two giants, and so we're going to see if we can find them over here. Um, chances are they just magically disappeared into the tree like iguanas do. Let's go see. Um, before you sh I don't, I don't see him. Where is he? Right here. Oh, bloody. He's on the other side. Though. I know. I'm going to land on the dumpster. All right, let's get it. You won't land on a car or anything, and I have wood to catch the pellet above his head. Oh, beautiful. Hold on, let me zoom in on him real quick. There we go. Hang on, change back to hot towel. Wait, there's people right here. I really like where the shot is because I have all iguana and have wood above him and wood below him. Yeah. It's like a super safe shot. There we go. About 15 yards, maybe 20. He landed on the couch! <laughs> He landed on the couch. He's out like a light. Beautiful. Hey, can you push that this way? He was our iguana that just went up this tree. Yep. He's right there. Oh, you got him. Come on. I appreciate you so much. The tail. Yeah, just grab the tail. Yeah, give me the tail. Okay. Oh, thank you, thank you, miss. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Got you <laughs> One shot. Look, it got him right in the eye. Super safe. Got this iguana right on the edge of the property, clearly. And now there's a second one. We've got to find the second one. We know he's over here. And there's also that little green one. Yeah. 
that was right. Huh. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Let's pick up this one and let's see if we can't find that ring. All right. She oh, she's right there. Us. She's right yeah. there. Yeah. But that's like. So, but if I get under her, she'll flip that way. Okay. Oh, look. She just, she, her. Yes, but she can't see me now. Yeah. Yep, here she is. That's not what we're going for. Got her. Look, look, a branch is holding her on this side. Uh. Safe. Look how she's stuck in this tree like this. Let's see if I can show y'all. Where's she at? Hard to see with the camera. There she is. Look at her stuck in the tree right there. I'm gonna lighten it for you. Look at that stinking iguana. The branch is holding her perfectly and she cannot fall. But I got her right through the head. She's dead, laying in a little iguana cradle. It won't. It's just stuck. The branch is holding. Yeah, it can't. It can't fall. It doesn't sit. Where the at? Right here. Score. Sorry, people. It wasn't recording. Score. I got him. Whatever. We still got you, iguana. <laughs> There's an iguana. You see his tails draped over the branches. He's doing something weird. Is he going to poop? I lost him. You know? He's still in that same spot, I think. There he is. He is. There he is. Kind of stiff on the ground all of a sudden. Got that iguana, let's find some more. Just looking at it through the fence. I shot right over his head. I was afraid I was going to hit the fence. Get him in the jaw. Right here. There we go. Beautiful. So there's like five iguanas in there now. The rotten one, the one that fell here, him, the two on the other side, and we got the one stuck in the tree from yesterday. People ask me all the time if they're going to eat this. That's ridiculous. Get them, turtle. Oh, here comes the Paku. There he is. The two of them. They're right there. They're the dark shadow. See him? Yeah. He's a little puffy from yesterday, but he'll still count. Uh -uh. Ooh, a little ripe. Hey, we can't find that giant iguana. I found him. What? He somehow teleported over there. Look on the ground, by the tree, by the truck. 
Tell me you see that. Oh my god, look at that thing. How'd he teleport boom, over there? Boom, 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 boom. He has half a tail. That's a different iguana. Yeah, it's definitely a different iguana. Oh, he has half a tail because somebody failed at getting him. Let's go get him for real. Let's go get him. Okay, guys. We found the dog water. Dog water poop. Dog water walking down the sidewalk. Look at him, y'all. He has a full tail and everything. Oh my goodness. Look to your look to your left. I need a little tell us. Another boots has a guano. Pillage. We gotta get through the truck and see if we can find another pack of pellets. We might all be in my house. <laughs> no. yeah. Yeah. Statement. I was shooting on low power, I'm moving it to high. I like high power. Check out this guy, y'all. Halloween came early with this boy. I mean, bright orange. Got you, Iguana. <laughs> Look at him. Look how big his head is. That's crazy. He's a monster. He's really beautiful. I've been talking about trying to keep some skulls and skins to do something with. I might actually try to keep this boy. Okay. I talk about that. I never get a chance to skin him. It's such a pain to do it. So I don't know. I'll have to figure out the time, but he's a, he's, this is a trophy of Ronnie, y'all. That is. <laughs> that's a beauty. Uh, I tell him it comes through every time. Thanks, Brocock. So we just got that monster iguana. I mean, a beast of an iguana, Halloween iguana. But there's another really good tree there as a backstop. So uh, we're going to see if we can't go ahead and take it while it sits right there. I think that gray car is backing up to look at us. Wanna move on me? It keeps moving. There's a black car coming. I see it. Thank you. You're welcome. Safety's on. The gun is on. Loved it. He needs another one though. We're gonna get over there quickly. Got that big boy. Got you as well. <laughs> 
Okay guys, so we already got 10 iguanas and we have not been here that long. One of them is a dead funky iguana from yesterday, but two of them are absolute monsters that we don't want to go to waste. So we've decided to pick up and run go get ice so that we can get these to somebody who's been asking me to eat some iguanas and we just don't want them to go bad. So um, we're going to run and go do that. We think that this big orange boy is like at least 12 pounds. And we just shot him, so we're going to get him over right away on some ice so he doesn't go to waste. He's got a monstrous head on him, huge jowls. He is an absolutely impressive iguana. <laughs> 